What's up everybody, Brandon Johnson here again and thanks for joining me. Today we're taking a look at a classic lick from legendary guitarist Tony Rice. Now Tony Rice was born in Virginia and he eventually ended up moving to Los Angeles where he grew up. And that's where he met the famous guitarist Clarence White who was a part of a bluegrass band called the Kentucky Colonels. Now Clarence White was by far Tony Rice's number one influence growing up. He actually ended up playing his guitar throughout his, most of his career. And he also took a lot of stylistic cues and influences from Clarence White. And namely certain kind of half step pull offs and pentatonic runs that, that feature dominant seven. And he really kind of adopted those into his playing throughout his entire career. And this particular lick in the key of C is an ending lick that Tony Rice played at the end of the classic flat picking tune, Texas Gales. And I think it's a really, really cool example of, you know, kind of Tony's playing and the influences that Clarence had on him. And another thing I really like about this lick too is it uses Tony's kind of famous pentatonic positions, but it also kind of demonstrates a kind of a crooked way to resolve a lick or a solo. So it doesn't actually, you know, perfectly resolve on the quarter note or on the downbeat but sort of in between the on and the off beat, which I think is really interesting. So I hope you enjoy this one. Let's check it out. All right, let's check out this Tony Rice lick now. So we're playing this out of the key of C, but we're playing it kind of up the neck a little bit. We're gonna start out here on the third fret B, and we're gonna hammer on to fifth fret B. So I'm playing with my index finger on a down stroke to my ring finger for that hammer on. And then I'm gonna play third fret high E again followed by another third fret high E. You can be staccato and then let it ring. That's kind of a cool way to articulate it. So you're kind of letting off after the hammer on, letting off on that third fret high E, and then letting that next third fret high E kind of ring out a little bit. Then you're gonna play third fret high E to fifth fret high E, to third fret high E. That's a down, up, down. So far we've been playing all down strokes. And then we're gonna play fifth fret B on an up stroke to third fret high E, and then back to fifth fret B. So you're kind of riffing off of this third fret position here between these B and the E strings. Then we're gonna play just a classic Tony Rice interval here, this fourth fret B to third fret B on a pull off. We're gonna play that on a down stroke. Then you're gonna hit fifth fret G on an up stroke, followed by third fret B on a down stroke. And you're left with that kind of classic Tony Rice interval where he plays, he plays those hammer-ons. That's going to lead us into measure number two. Okay, so looking at measure number two now of this Tony Rice lick, remember we're coming off of this kind of classic pull off interval that we hear Tony Rice play a lot. And then we're playing fifth fret G back to third fret high B. And then you'll see at the beginning of measure number two here, we have fifth fret G to second fret G. So we're going to kind of switch positions here and go down to the second fret G with our index finger. Okay, now that we're in the second fret G position here, we're gonna play fifth fret D now with our little finger on an up down, and then an up stroke back on that second fret G. That's another kind of classic Tony Rice interval, no matter what key he's playing in, he's often kind of playing those kinds of stretches with his index finger and his little finger. And then we have open D to second fret D to open G. Okay, and then you see first fret D to open on a pull off. And then third fret A to open D to third fret A. That's kind of, you're back in your kind of root position there in the key of C. Okay, 
let's play the entire lick now, all the way through to the metronome. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Thanks for checking out this lesson today. If you'd like to download the tab sheet for free, head on over to my website, brandonjohnsonguitar.com. I also offer an all-access membership where you can get access to every single lesson that I've ever made. So head on over to the website and check it out. We'll see you there.